the narcissist is struggling without you. When you stop living your life for the narcissist and put the focus back on yourself, they will get mad. They will feel as though you are taking something away from them. They need you to focus all of your time and energy on their interests or needs. It is essential for their emotional survival. So when you stop doing that and start attending to yourself, they begin to panic. They experience sudden uncontrollable fear or anxiety. They engage in wildly unthinker behavior because in their minds, it feels like life or death. Narcissists constantly feel like they are drowning. As their primary source of supply, you are their life jacket. You are meant to keep them afloat. But when you start to take care of yourself again, in their minds, you are taking something away from them. They feel entitled to your time and energy whenever they want it. They have to operate in this way because it is essential to their, to their survival. If you don't wait on them hand and foot and provide everything they need or want, if you don't act as a servant to them, it will feel as though their life jacket is no longer functioning properly. So they will begin to panic. They will begin to lash out. And in their minds, they believe it is justified because they feel like they are drowning. They feel like their lives are at risk. Even though you may be the one who is at risk of danger or harm. They can't see it that way because the problem exists in their minds. And when you finally get fed up of serving them and you begin to focus on yourself again, the narcissist is likely to leave. They are likely to move on and find someone else to provide to them. But it's not so easy for them to find another grade A source of supply. It's not so easy for them to find someone who is going to wait on them hand and foot and attend to their every need. They will often end up with people who aren't willing to do that. People who refuse to assume responsibility over another person. Which then leaves the narcissist drowning without a functioning life jacket. In a condition where they are just trying to survive. They have no one to regulate their emotions. No one to provide for them financially. Their bills are mounting up. And they have no one around to blame. No one around to project their feelings of self-hatred onto. They might get online and start stalking your social media. They might see that you are starting to move on. They might see that you are finally beginning to live the life that you always wanted to live. They might see that you are happy now. It just reminds them how much they screwed up. 
It just reminds them that they made the wrong decision. And while they wish they could go back to you, while they wish that you could comfort them and support them financially, they know that you're not going to take them back. They know that you're not going to trade your happiness to put up with their BS all over again. So they suffer in silence. They endure their pain, distress and hardship without saying a word. And they may even put a few pictures of their own on social media. It might appear as though they are doing something fun. It might appear as though they are with someone. But it's all an act. It's all designed to make you feel as though you are missing out. As though you made the wrong decision by letting them walk away. They are very good at deceiving people. Just remember when you first met them. They tricked you. And once they knew they had trapped you, they showed you who they really are. When they leave, they do the same thing again with someone else. And they will use that to make you believe that they are happy, as though they have everything they want. When it's just not true. They just know that you finally got to move on and be happy without them. And it's killing them inside. Misery loves company. And these people are always miserable. They are always unhappy. And they are always struggling. Which is why whenever they come around you, it's only because they need your help or support. Because they're constantly struggling. They're constantly just trying to survive. But it is not your responsibility to help a grown adult who should be able to take care of themselves. You didn't come to this world to be a narcissist's life jacket. You didn't come to this world to be their life support. You came here to be the best version of yourself. And you can't do that while someone is constantly clinging on to you in an attempt to survive. Don't be a narcissist life jacket. You came here to be so much more. Thank you for watching. I hope this video is it with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you'd like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcissistcoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.